take a walk through uh, Police Point here, it's called. Um, the tree growth here is just amazing. I'll get to show you some here in a few minutes. You'll be surprised. Even the uh, dead growth. Okay. I have a problem with my microphone. There we go. Hi. Wow. Okay. A lot of the trees that are down are real crooked ones. Some of them are growing that are real crooked also, but uh, a lot of them are, I don't know if they were diseased or something from the past or what it was, why they grew like that. But this area called Police Point is just known for their trees like that and this is a nature uh, reserve area so you can't really uh, do anything they, they don't remove any anything it's just uh, just the way it is but like see this tree here for example See how it's growing? It grows weird. And big. Big around all the way up. And then we have some dead, dead ones here. And as you can see, they just leave it like this. Perfect place for animals to go and escape. But this tree here, believe it or not, is still living. Still gathering all its nutrients from the ground through its hollowed out center. And then as you're walking down the path, here's the path, here's a, just a, a dead old broken down tree right here. You don't want to uh, come across any animals hiding inside. This one is obviously dead, but for example, here's another one. It's, it's, it's alive, it's living. There's growth living on it. And then there's a big one back there, huge tree, big around, doesn't go too high. Let's get growth on the top.
and there's lots of uh, Saskatoon berries and all kinds of food like that here for the animals. I think, well, in this park anyways, it's illegal to pick all those. And then we even got a deer over there with a little one. Look at that. Coming closer. It's a little baby deer. The little one's running. into the bushes. I can see him in there. He's hiding. And the mother is probably checking me out real good. I can see her over there. Ah, uh, there's porcupine in here. Uh, obviously deer, all kinds of uh, wildlife in here actually. I'll probably come up with some signs. Now we will have to zoom in on that tree there, but look at that, how that's growing. And it's alive. Okay, let's carry on. And the uh, cliffs in the distance there, that's where the South Saskatchewan River is on this side of those cliffs here. And old logs. And as you can see in these old logs here, this is not writing, these lines in here. These lines are in here from worms that were in when this tree was living. The worms would dig their way in through here. When the bark was on the tree. So when I was into uh, geocaching quite heavily, this is where we would always have our uh, meetings at the final, the final time of the year in August. And we would have a picnic here. Uh, there's a, quite a few geocaches in this park. Now here's a bit of a sculpture, 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 sculpture. No indication of who made or this side here, as you can see, is a buffalo. A buffalo on this side and a face on this side. Cute. Works. And that is the interpretive center over there. And then right over there where you see the, uh, the tables there, the picnic tables, there's a fire pit there. That's where we would have our barbecue. entrance to the interpretive center that way.
So we have made our round through one one pathway, one area, only one of, and there's lots of them. And we come back out right here where my my home is.